Hey guys, welcome back to Double K. Today I'll be showing you some apparatus difficulties with rope. So let's go. For the first AD, you're going to swing the rope behind your back into a release before catching it as it swings forwards. Now you're going to repeat the same thing but turn your body to catch behind your back. Then finally, as you catch the rope, push yourself into a one-handed cartwheel. For this next AD, you're going to have to do a sort of switch cartwheel, where one of your legs is bent as shown, and the other one hops over to the other side. Then fold your rope in half and place the end under your knee to secure it, making sure the side with the two ends is closest to the knee. Then do the switch cartwheel with the rope underneath your knee. This is what it should look like. Next, fold the rope into quarters and place it on your foot before rolling back and allowing the rope to fly off your foot into your hand. Then you're going to repeat the same thing but you're going to complete a full backwards roll to catch the rope. For this AD, you're going to start by swinging the rope around the back of your body as shown. Then as it swings in the centre, you're going to lower your body to sit down. And as the rope continues to come through, you're going to lift your legs over it. Then you're going to swing the rope around for a second time, this time doing a backwards roll through it. Then combine it into one motion and this is what it should look like. For the next AD, you're going to have to tie a knot in the end of your rope. Then holding the end that isn't knotted, circle your rope backwards before throwing it up and as it comes down, push into a cartwheel parallel to the rope so that it can land on your neck. And this is what the final AD should look like. For the next AD, you're going to do a simple release as shown, but direct it in the opposite direction, so you end up catching the rope from above you. Then as you catch the other end of the rope, use the momentum to skip through. Then to do the final AD, you're going to be doing a double through the rope. For the next AD, you're going to be doing a simple release from behind your back, but you're going to turn your body towards the rope to catch it in your knee. Then, as it lands in your knee, you're going to complete a turn back to the front to allow yourself to pick the rope back up. And here's what the final AD should look like. For the next AD, you're going to do a release, going around the back of your body before scooping the rope up from the floor to land on your arm. Then you're going to try and do the same thing, but land the rope on your shoulder, securing it with your head. And finally, as it lands on your shoulder, complete a full turn around before letting go of the rope and flicking it back up into your hand. And here's what the final AD should look like. First fold your rope into four and place it on your foot. Then you're going to push back into a walkover onto your knees, flicking your foot up slightly to allow it to fly up into the air. Then as you land on your knees, you should be able to catch the rope. Here's what it should look like up to speed. For the next AD, rotate the rope behind your back before passing it over to the other hand. Now to do the AD itself, you're going to do the same thing except when you're swapping hands you're going to dip your body downwards. And this is what the final AD should look like.
For the final AD, you're going to tie a knot in your rope and simply rotate the rope in front of you. Then as you're swinging the rope, you're going to let go of it to allow it to fly horizontally. And as it comes down, you're going to catch it on the back of your neck while spinning. And this is what the final AD should look like. Thank you for watching this week's video. If you'd like to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, comment down below what you would like to see next.